7.09 in the morning. <laughs> Dozens of shots fired. The targets? Congressmen practicing for a charity ball game. Republican House Majority Whip Steve Scalise is in critical condition tonight after one of those bullets hit him in the hip. Receiving the shots being fired, and there are people running, possibly victims involved. Also shot, a congressional staffer, a lobbyist, and two members of the Capitol Hill police who were there protecting Scalise. Representative Joe Barton from Texas, emotional, talking about his 10 year old son who was at the baseball field during the shooting. He was at practice this morning, and not only I, he had 25 dads, everybody out there uh, was looking out for him, not just me. Witnesses say the gunman approached a fence along the third baseline but never got on the field. Congressman Scalise, standing on second base, was shot first. Other lawmakers took cover in the first base dugout. We were sitting ducks. I think uh, he was not able to get on the field because the gate was locked on the other side. Uh, if he'd gotten on the field, uh, it, it could have been a bad situation. Representative Barry Loudermilk saw when an officer opened fire on the gunman. Uh, he pointed the handgun at the officer. The officer told him drop the weapon. He fired a couple of rounds at the officer, and that's when the officer fired and shot him. Sources are calling it a deliberate attack. We did get confronted by an individual when we were in the car before we were leaving. Uh, he asked whether they were Republicans or Democrats out there. Then when Jeff told them they were Republicans, he turned and walked towards the field. President Trump that announcing the shooter was dead and calling for unity and in Washington. And that we are strongest when we are unified and when we work together for the common good. Late tonight, the president made a surprise visit to the hospital to visit Representative Scalise. And shortly after, tweeted, just left hospital. Representative Steve Scalise, one of the truly great people, is in very tough shape, but he is a real fighter. Pray for Steve. The Capitol, usually separated by political parties, now unified. We are united. We are united in our shock. We are united in our anguish, in attack on one of us is an attack on all of us. Law enforcement sources identifying the gunman as 66-year-old James Hodgkinson of Belleville, Illinois. He was a volunteer for Senator Bernie Sanders' presidential campaign. I am sickened by this despicable act. Hours after the attack, some members of the team still wearing their uniforms, still trying to process what happened. What we have to remember is this, that the American people, excuse me, are great people and we have great values. We represent great people every day. Rare show of emotion, and we saw that over and over again today in Washington. Local Congress members Carlos Cabello and Debbie Wasserman Schultz spoke with CBS 4 News today and both talked about how toxic the political divide in this country has become. Increasingly, Americans think that violence is uh, the way to resolve political differences or to address political differences. And uh, if that's going to change in our country, it has to start changing here. Now, while the resolve today by both Republicans and Democrats is very strong, and many members have pledged to really change the tone and to show that we can disagree while being cordial, uh, while treating each other in a fair way, uh, inertia is also very powerful, and I worry that in a few days, maybe in a few weeks, uh, the memory of this morning wears off. We have to be careful about the weight of our words and about making sure that when we disagree, that we do, in, do so in a way that is mindful of the fact that there are people who can hear us whose decisions could be impacted by the weight of our words. And, of course, if anything develops during this newscast, we will let you know right away. And you can log on to CBSMiami.com anytime for the very latest.